Alright guys, I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up with Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday. Not a huge order, I think I spent $60, not a whole lot, just some stuff I'm going to need because this coming week, weekend, and the next week, Brad and I are going on a fishing trip up to Black Lake with where Brad's got the camp we're going for uh, nine days, so we'll have quite a few videos from that, but let me get started. The most expensive thing I bought was line and I bought the Berkley Trilene 100% fluorocarbon XL which the XL I guess means that it's good for spinning reels what I'm using this for is 8 pound test um, I'm putting it on more of my finesse spin rod for drop shots and tubes basically but I haven't used Berkley Trilene fluorocarbon but I've heard really good things about it it was I think $20 for the spool which is more than I really wanted to spend but they didn't have a whole lot of fluorocarbon, so I just got this. So, and I kind of want to try it. But, it's just 8 pound fluorocarbon. It's um, ideal for spin reels, so that's nice for, that's what I'm using it for. And then, I got a jerk bait, just one, because in the spring I lost pretty much all of mine. So, I just got one here, it's the Strike King KVD jerk bait, and in yellow perch, it's the smaller size. Two hook size, not three hook size. I got, I got a Booyah spinner bait. It's a five sixteenths, more like a finesse spinner bait. I got a smaller willow leaf and a small Colorado like a tandem, and then it's like shad, golden shad or something. I don't have a name, but it's like a gold shad kind of deal. See the edge of the head. I've caught a lot of fish on that color, so it works. And then I got. Just a pack of um, bell sinkers here for drop shotting. Nothing special. I got a little five pack of big bite bait Senkos. It was a dollar. Five pack. So that's not a bad deal. I don't know what color. I don't tell you the color. It's like a weird shad kind of color. It's like a darker, like a gray with all sorts of different kind of flecks. So. And then I got a pack of striking rage toads. And green pumpkin pearl belly. I love rage toads. There. Not durable though. I got two packs of reaction innovation. Oh no, only one pack of reaction innovation. Sweet beaver. And this one is in black light. I really like this color. Dirty water it kills. Let me take one out. You can really see it. It's kind of translucent. It has a black and purple fleck one side, and then pretty much just like a dark purple on one side. It's kind of tough to see with that light, but looks blue, doesn't look purple, but it's purple. So, really good jig trailer, kind of like a black blue jig, or like a, one of our bruiser black blue purple um, jigs, and I got Pack Reaction Innovations, uh, Skinny Dipper, and Sexy Shad, get one of these out. These I'm pretty much just going to use as chatterbait trailers, I'm going to throw them on a, like a swim bait head occasionally, but more just for this one bit trailer. I don't know how long these are. Let's say they're probably four inch. Maybe like four point two inches or something. But I like that color here. It'll match a, a chartreuse and white. Straight white, straight chartreuse, chartreuse sexy shad. Anything along those lines. And then I got a pack of Kitech Swim Impact Fat. And I got it in bluegill flash, and I can throw this on pretty much any chatterbait because it's like a clear, pearlish kind of white, and then gray on, on one side, and then gray on the other, like a gray with blue and gold flecks and stuff on the other side. But I've heard great things about Kitex, and these I might throw on a jig head, but it's pretty much just going to be jig trailers, and they're 3.8 inch. So, I mean, that's all I got, guys. I didn't get a whole lot, just quick pick up before I go fishing on a fishing trip, but like I said guys, I'm going fishing in a little while, just for a couple hours, hopefully make a video or two then, we have been making a lot lately, it's just, we haven't been, but we need to, and when we're on that fishing trip, we'll try to make a lot of videos, so stay tuned guys, and uh, good luck fishing.